What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Ultima 9. I was going to do a review on P1000, but there's not really a lot of backlink that really go with him. So it's kind of difficult to make combos with it. So instead, we're going to be looking at Ultima 9. I have unlocked him for a while now. I was just waiting for his edit styles to be unlocked so I could actually thoroughly review the skin. So without further ado guys, let's get this review started. So Ultima 9. Here's tier 100 for season 10 and he's just another remake of Black Knight. In my opinion, the Ultima Knight is just a little bit too bulky for my liking. I do like the origin, which is kind of resembles more of the Black Knight and it does come in three colors, which is gold, silver and red. And in my opinion, the origins yeah, this style is a lot better than the other ones. I do like the silver, it's very cool. I do do like it a lot. And also the Ultima Knight, the red color, it's pretty cool. Uh, it kind of resembles the Red Knight. I'm just sad that there's no black. I know if they would have put a edit style black, it would have been way too similar to the Black Knight and it would have gotten a lot of people mad. But Fortnite has done a lot of controversial stuff, so doing a black edit style will actually please the fans who don't actually own the Black Knight, me included. But overall, this is one of the better tier 100 skins we have had for a while now. And I'm actually pleased with this. Also in the battle pass, you do get a backlink called the Dragon's Quest, which again, it does come in three edit styles for colors, which is gold, silver, and black. And again, they have a black one. How come they didn't have a red one? Well, anyways, he also does come with a harvesting tool, the Vanquisher, which is in my opinion, the biggest harvesting tool this season or any seasons to be exact. Um, pretty cool, very, it's just a giant hammer, very cool. And then you do get a glider called the Steel Wing, which is basically a reskin of the Frost Wing and the Lava Wing. Um, just made of all, just has a night theme to it. So it's pretty cool. We did get a legendary glider in the season. Back to the Ultimate Knight. I do like the take they actually did on him. He is pretty cool. Like I mentioned before, the Ultima status for the skin, um, it's a little bit too bulky for my liking. He does have that skirt. He does have more armor, but when you go back to the origin, it, they kind of slim it down and goes back to the original Black Knight style, which I do like overall. So what's my final rating on Ultima Knight? For what it is, it is another Black Knight ripoff. In my opinion, they did execute it really perfectly. I do like it. I do like the color schemes. I wish they would have added black, but it is what it is. So my final rating for Ultima Knight. I'm gonna have to give Ultima Knight a 10 out of 10. A very cool skin, it is a remake of an old classic and I really do like it. I do like the color schemes and I do like everything they did with the skin. So overall, good job. So without further ado guys, let's get these combos started. For my first combination, I do have the Ultima Knight, the origin form with the color gold and I'm pairing it up with a Dark Knight movie cloak. I do like this cloak, I'm not really a cape fan, but this actually looks really good on him. It is very long, which is very cool, especially because he is a bulkier skin. And the bat symbol actually, even though it is bronze, is a dark or like a lighter bronze, which actually kind of looks golden and it just looks really good with the skin. For the harvesting tool, we are going with the flawless. I, I was searching for a bigger harvesting tool that was gold plated, but this is the best one I could find and it just looks really good. The black and the gold actually complement the skin really well. For the glider, we're gonna go with the Rift Rider. I do like the Rift Rider, especially because it is all gold. It does have pink lining, but the, that doesn't really affect the skin. And overall, it looks really cool. For the control, we're going with the Spectral Essence. A very simplistic control. Nothing really had to say about this. It looks good and looks really good with a lot of skins. And the Ultimate Knight is no exception. And for the wrap, we're going with the Carbon and Gold. I do like the Carbon and Gold, especially because it is black and gold. And the black part actually look like um, Steel Mill, which is basically the same armor that the black Ultimate Knight actually uses. So overall, it looks really good. So enjoy the combo. second combination I am using the ultimate knight origin form and I am using the color silver and I'm pairing it up with the steel cast I do like the steel cast it looks very cool it is the same color scheme made of all steel it goes really well with the skin and I just like it because not a lot of people actually use it or even own this backlink and it just looks 
nice for the harvin tool we are going with the carver the main reason why i'm going with the carver because it does have that nice steel look to it it's a very unique harvesting tool we really don't see it often it should be coming back during this holiday for halloween but it looks really good for the glider we're going with the steel wing it's a very bulky glider it's a very cool it does it is part of the same set and overall just fits on really good for the control we're going with the lightning a very simplistic control it's not very intrusive and it just goes really well with a lot of skins and ultimate is no exception and for the wrap we're going with the assassin the black and the silver actually matches pretty perfectly in my opinion the skin itself is black and silver and overall just looks really good so enjoy the combo For the last combination, I am using the Ultima Edit Style color red and I do, am pairing it with the Ice Mantle color red as well. I do like this combination. I am using the Ultima Edit Style just because it gives it the more bulky look. And with the Ice Mantle, it actually gives it a really good taste. It looks really cool and it's very intimidating in the battlefield. For the Harvesting Tool, we are using the Crimson Axe. This is the Red Knight's Harvesting Tool and the main reason why I'm using it, even though it is part of the same set, is just the color scheme. It just looks really good. It is big and our boy here is thick so it looks really good together the glider i'm going with the downshift i really don't have any red glider that actually matches to perfectly to the color scheme of the ultimate Knight, but this glider actually looks pretty good it is all black in design and it does leave a red control when you're flying down through the field it just looks really good with him for the control i'm going with the spectral essence it's a simplistic control and again i really don't have anything that actually matches perfectly with the red so the spectral essence will actually do and for the red we're going with the knighted you do obtain it during this season and i know it is kind of lazy pairing it with him because it is from the same set but i just like the whole texture and the feeling it does bring to the game and overall it looks really good so enjoy the combo Those are the three combinations I found so far for Ultimate Night. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. And if you need to my channel, subscribe. I post videos of your favorite cosmetic skins every single day. And if you want to support the channel, my code is NAMAKID, all caps, two Ds, all together. You don't have to use me, but use a smaller YouTuber that can really use the help. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you guys in tonight's video. See ya.